Number 40 is a very difficult question. In fact, I think I got it wrong the first time I ever saw it and did it. I just didn't have a good sense of what they were asking for. But remember, they are asking for something, and we have to give them what they want. So the more we can understand it, the better. So let's look at the goal that's in this question that we're supposed to accomplish. The writer wants a conclusion to the sentence and the paragraph that logically completes the discussion of the Silver Age and provides an effective transition into the next paragraph, which choice best accomplishes this goal. So a lot of those are a little subjective, right? I mean, we there might be different ways to transition into the next paragraph, so that's a little tricky. But honestly, the goal that I should have focused on right away, and I think that that's the most obvious, is this one right here, completing the discussion of the Silver Age. If we look at just the answers then, let's go back to A, and I'm going to purposely not read the paragraphs here and just kind of like go with that goal only. Subsequent decades would show the enduring appeal of these characters. Okay. Well, that's not completing the discussion of the Silver Age. That's continuing the discussion and saying that in the next ages, these things continued. So A is not a completion. Okay. Let's look at B. The distinctions between later stages of comic book history are less well-defined than the one between the Golden and Silver Ages. Well, that just seems like a random fact about the future, not a conclusion about the Silver Age. So that doesn't work either. C. Readers increasingly gravitated to the upstarts as the 1960s and the Silver Age drew to a close. Well, that's pretty dead on with the goal that we're being asked here, right? It completes the discussion of the Silver Age by saying that the Silver Age drew to a close. That's a lot of matching ideas, and like, it's not gonna get much better than that. I know that we're ignoring other goals in the question, we'll look at those in a second, but this is the easiest goal to think about, and we've got a near-perfect match. So that, that would be enough at this point to choose this answer. I mean, we should look at D, but it's not gonna be any better. These characters themselves underwent significant changes over the course of the Silver Age. Well, we're not closing it. We're saying more about the Silver Age here and talking about those changes. That's not closing it. That's kind of like reopening the discussion. So C does what it's supposed to. Now, if we think about this in the broader context that we need a transition, it also, it, I, it makes sense, but it honestly falls a little bit short for me. So this is why I struggled with the question the first time I did it. This, this paragraph here, this top one, is about the Silver Age. It's talking about some new heroes, some new villains, um, and it's talking about their being a little bit more real life. We've read this for other questions, and how the Golden Age people still kind of succeeded. So that's great. This is all about the Silver Age. The next paragraph talks about what comes after, the Bronze and Modern Ages, um, how they're not as good, um, there's a decline of sales, and you know they're saying that the, the golden and silver ages were the heyday of comic books. So why would choice C be a transition between the silver age and the, the, the modern age? I honestly don't know. I think the only reason it's a transition is because it accomplishes the goal we've already talked about, which is closing out the silver age, which then lets us transition to what comes after the silver age. But that's the best I can do. The other reason, though, that choice C must be right, then, is mostly through process of elimination. The other choices, A, B, and D, are not really providing a better transition into the next paragraph. So choice A, let's look at that again. Subsequent decades would show the enduring appeal of these characters. Well, that's a very positive statement. But as we just said, diminishing returns, um, decline, this is a negative idea. So to put a positive sentence right before this negative paragraph, that's, that's, that's not good. B, the distinctions between later stages of comic book history are less well-defined than the one between the Golden and Silver Ages. Well, the point of this paragraph isn't saying that we don't know when the other ages begin and end. It's saying we do know that the other ages were not that good. So this is just not really setting up a topic that's talked about in this final paragraph. It's just kind of random. So that doubly is now wrong. And then D, these characters themselves underwent significant changes over the course of the Silver Age. Well, 
we're supposed to transition into the bronze and, and, and modern ages. This is not talking about those ages at all. I, this is also kind of just not transitioning. It's maybe talking about what we've already talked about in this paragraph. But as we said, C does a much better job of ending that discussion so that we can transition to the next thing. D makes it sound like I'm going to keep talking about the changes and not a new topic. So if this confused you, totally understandable. This is a very difficult question, and because it comes at the end of the test, I wouldn't want you to spend a ton of time on it. But notice how when these questions have multiple goals, there might be a goal that is easier to accomplish and pay attention to. And in this case, the goal that I talked about, the completing the discussion goal, that's one where I can really just look at the words in the choices. And that narrows my focus to a smaller amount of text. The other goal, the transition goal, requires that I understand both the paragraphs. So it's a lot broader. There's a lot more work I need to do. So that's what makes it maybe my second priority. First priority is be a little lazy. Do the thing that requires the least amount of work. And in this case, it was this goal about completing the discussion. If you're running out of time, you got to make those kinds of choices, and uh, the goal questions, if they have long goals, are a place to make those kind of cut those corners.